I'm in downtown Pasco, just wandering around, uh, checking out some of the cool local Hispanic culture. Lots of uh, Spanish-speaking restaurants and shops and different things. So I'm gonna be around down here. I probably won't do a lot of talking while I'm there. I'll just probably voice over because there's lots of wind and it's hard to hear, I'm guessing. So I just wanted to say hello and check in and tell you guys that I'll be around downtown Pasco. So I went to Pasco on a Sunday after our church and it was really neat because we'd been there the day before going to something else and I'd seen there was a Salvation Army and I recognized the homeless shelter and so I was able to go to the Salvation Army church. Everything was in Spanish and nobody there actually spoke English. A, a couple of people spoke little bits of it so that was neat. Uh, after the service there was this really cool building outside that had, um, you'll see it in just a second, there's people sitting outside of it and they were selling things I think. But in next to it, there was this building with corn. I, I decided I had to sketch it. It was a lot of fun. And I, I just hung out there on the corner for a little while. After my drawing, I decided to walk around the downtown area a bit and check out some of the businesses. One of the things I really loved about downtown Pasco is all the colors on the buildings. They reminded me of Mexico. I remember the first time I was in Pasco and I I just I drove around and looked at all the different colored buildings. They were so interesting to me, and I hadn't seen those colors since um, in the United States before. I also think it's interesting that uh, people in the Tri Cities seem to be like a little like there's a separation between Pasco and the other two cities. And I'm not I know that it's cultural. I'm still trying to figure that out though. It, it's something that kind of makes me sad. But it's really interesting. That right there, uh, the garden, it was a huge garden. It reminded me of a mini version of my grandma's. This bit is in the Fiesta Foods grocery store where I bought the guayaba, uh, go uh, guava, guayaba in Portuguese. I don't know the Spanish, um, for tapioca, which is delicious. There's also a lot of Catholic culture here and tons of fresh fruit and spices and it's a it's neat. It's cool to see. Also, uh, I'm including my adventures at the flea market in this video as well. So we took a couple trips to the flea market. So this woman here, uh, you'll see her picture in just a second. We, I talked to her a little bit about some of the spiritual religions in Brazil and uh, Hispanic countries as well. And it was really interesting because I haven't actually met someone that practices these religions. Uh, she practices, it wasn't Santeria or Bahia, but it was um, something very similar like Brujeda. I don't, I, don't, uh, I don't remember the name that she gave it, but it was really interesting to talk about um, some of her beliefs with her. Uh, my Spanish isn't super great, so I'm pretty sure that I didn't do a great job of speaking with her. Um, this is another woman, though, that uh, there was there were a couple non-Hispanic booths at the flea market, but not very many. Uh, this is one of them where they sold bamboo, and I loved them. Uh, I didn't get any, but that's actually my friend right there buying something from her. So I've also recorded a talk video about religion and why I like studying religion, so do check that out. I will get the link up here as soon as the video is posted on in a second, this right here, oh my gosh, it reminded me so much of Mexico because I remember there being lots of fruit candies and fruit flavors that they mixed with chili powder. So there's the straw on it uh, that has chili powder and like a candy coating and then there's a sweet fruit sauce drizzled on top of this and then mango and I later had it with mango and papaya and they also have uh, Mexican cherries. So, so good. Uh, several different foods here. One of them that I'm doing a painting of that you'll get to see is of the squash flowers. And so this woman here is making a squash flower quesadilla. It was so delicious. Yeah, and then I don't know much about the cacti. So if you know, let me know. Um, thank you guys for watching this. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have questions below, comments below. Uh, yeah. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe. I make videos at least once a week. I try to do art videos. Right now I'm doing a lot of what's inspiring my art, so you can see my art soon.